Hello folks. So this is my 2018 TRD Sport Tacoma. I'm gonna show you guys all the cool little features of a Tacoma. If you're thinking about getting one, I don't know. I'm basically just gonna show you some of the stuff on my truck. Give you a little walk around this bad boy. So I have the Sport, not the off-road. I got it in the six speed manual. Three pedal wonder. Uh, so on an off-road or a sport or a pro, you'll have diff lockers and things like that here. And heat seats. I don't have that. Ignore all the lights. Those are for uh, my alignment being off. But because it's manual, they actually have this cool button right here. And, sorry, I'm eating these. These bad boys. They're too good. But yeah, so this is kind of the interior. Wireless charger. You can turn it on and off with that switch. That's pretty cool. This is for the back window. Nice little little clicky feature there got all your dials you know four-wheel drive climate control temp and all that cool stuff the uh entertainment system is decent i suppose there's a lot of cool features on here like big thing i use is navith just because you can zoom it in and out however you like it's really nice when you're on the trails stuff like that but you can split it too you can split your nav with, uh, you know, other stuff. Like if you want to run your radio at the same time, you can, you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. But, uh, so this button allows you to actually start and stop your truck without the clutch if you have the manual. So, you know, with most manual vehicles, you got to, uh, press the clutch to start it, right? Like you see my truck's not starting, but if I press the pedal, you know, It'll start. So the cool thing with that button, I'll show you. Say you don't feel like getting in the truck to start it. You press the clutch start cancel button. Starts right up like a champ. But yeah, so that's a neat little, neat little, oh, I heard a scat pack out there. That's a neat little feature of that. This thing has insane cup holders for being what it is. I mean, I got two here, two on that door. Two on that side go to the back back's got two in each plus two right here like cup holder space goes crazy but i think the best thing is the storage so each of these seats will pull down like this that's a full respirator and a bag of lollipops okay going on to the other side yeah i know she's pretty sexy you can pull this whole entire back row down see i got a 30 foot strap right there okay Put it back up, put it back up, and wait, there's more. The seats do the same feature, both sides. I got my jack and all that good stuff right there, but I mean, on the other side, I got a ton of stuff, like I'll show you. Another thing, just to flex on you guys with their Ford Platinums, bet your truck can't do this. That's right, boys, goes down auto. Never have to worry about slamming a tailgate again. Yeah. How you like that? My bed may be half the size of yours, but my tailgate automatically goes down. There's the nice little backup camera they got right there, too. The backup camera's pretty sweet. This thing normally has a rear bumper, but mine's off, so ignore that. Plus, you got your jellyfish launcher up there. You know. You know. You know, you turn this thing on. That's a nice LED. I call it the jellyfish launcher, but it's not a jellyfish launcher. You see? But yeah, and you know, your mirror adjusters, all the other basic stuff, really. I mean, it's got independent front suspension too, which is cool. It's not a nice leaf pack from the factory, but a lot of guys will go with the upgrades. They got cool bed rail mounts on the sides all the way down, which is really convenient for, you know, strapping stuff in when you're going to the dump and shit like that with your tiny little wheelbarrow size bed. I have the four foot bed, you can get the five foot, but 
This is nicer for, you know, when I'm on the trails. I put that roof rack on, it doesn't come factory. Although there is, I forgot to mention, another cool thing, sequentials on the on the uh, mirrors actually. These are nice, which I like. I put the ditch lights on too, but I've had this truck for about a year now. The front bumpers are chopped, but there's a plan for that, so don't worry. But yeah, I mean, I kind of love the truck for the most part. It's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. A lot of cool features on it. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to cover them all in this video because I'm gonna forget them. Another thing, we got an outlet right there. We got storage on each side also. You can flip that outlet on and off with a switch right here for your outlets, which is quite nice. This is my uh, ditch lights. This switch is so clicky. But yeah, they even make templates for all your light switch panels to fit in here. Super clean and flush and nice. Look at how nice that switch fits in there. You can also put them in any of these three bays, but I don't really uh, want to do that yet until I fill up those three. Because I can run three pretty sweet things there. But yeah, that's for the old ditch lights. They're pretty nice. Not going to hold you. Don't mind if I say so myself. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else other cool features on this truck there are let me sit inside and think when i'm in it then i can really really think oh yeah traction control on and offs up here which is kind of weird i don't know how i feel about it i would have thought they would have put it down there but it is here you know they got a tiny sunglasses holder i don't know uh wicked spacious center console and the glove box is pretty spacious too. Seating room in the front's not bad, but in the back, it kind of sucks. Like, if you're a family man and you got more than one kid, I don't know. I don't think I'd recommend getting this truck. As you can see, with my seat relatively all the way forward, my knees almost touch this. And I'm like barely six foot. So, I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't think it's that bad, but if you got someone with a seat like this, which unfortunately tends to happen, even though there's way more leg room as a passenger, so I don't know why the seat's all the way back. But like over here, my knees are right up in there, shit. But I don't know, I still don't think it's that bad. My head's not touching the ceiling yet. It's kind of close, but <laughs> I don't know. I do like the truck. I could just be biased, I guess, on the seating space back here because I could be comfortable in a hole in the ground. So I don't know, I don't think it's that bad. I'm chilling back here, honestly. <laughs> I don't mind it, but. I don't know. I've definitely had people say that, you know, the, the overweight people that get in the back seat back here, they definitely are like, your truck's so tiny, there's no room. Well, that could be a them problem, not so much a Tacoma problem, you know? I don't know. Take it how you will. I think that's going to pretty much end my video. I mean, shit, you guys know the trucks are reliable as hell. I put this poor truck through the ringer and somehow... It still runs, still drives. The only thing that I've really broken on it yet is I drowned the starter because I went in a river a little too deep and sat for a while and then took some videos like a moron. But I mean, other than that, I got to do a clutch. But the only reason I'm doing the clutch is because that's on me. I've been wheeling this thing hard and like racing it, doing all kinds of stupid shit with it. So, you know, and I got mom bigger tires. So it's really just a matter of time before my clutch left the chat really but i mean that's to be expected other than that though like it's just things been a tank truly i mean i have been i put it through it you can see on my youtube this truck has not had an easy life and it survived a year with just killing a starter i'd i'd say that's pretty damn good if you ask me but uh yeah all right that's gonna end this video you guys get the memo I just kind of want to do a, show you guys some of the things that made me like this truck as much as I do. I don't know. Everyone I feel like hates on these things for being tiny trucks. Like I say, it's not really a truck. It's more like a side-by-side. -side. I don't even classify it as a truck, but like it's got a bed so I can get the job done, you know? I don't mind it. But hey, if you like this video, if it was helpful, if you like the rig, give me a subscribe. Come on, help your boy out. I'm about to put a tough-ass windshield banner on. Just saying. But all right, I'll catch you, boy.